And so Bell's palsy it really is the partial paralysis of your face. Um, it can be either side, it can be the right side or the left side. And they say it's because one of the facial nerves. Um, they say it can come from several different explanations, like you can have upper respiratory problems or you can just be under a lot of stress. And so that's how they, um, that's how it gets, the nerve gets inflamed. And when the nerve gets inflamed, part of your face will, will paralyze. Um, there's a lot of like symptoms of it. So not only will there be a partial paralysis of your face, but you won't be able to control like your, your eye, like you can't blink. And so that will, um, so your eyes will just start to tear and you're just like crying all the time. Um, you, they also say that your um, taste buds change on that part of your tongue. So you won't be able to taste the same. But overall, it just looks kind of like your face is kind of puffy and droopy. <laughs> and I think that's kind of like the worst side effect of, of Bell's palsy is that you just look kind of out of it for a while. So Bell's palsy, they say, once you, uh, you start showing symptoms, they say it can last anywhere from like two to like three and a half to four weeks. That's the usual time it takes to recover. Um, some people actually don't ever recover from Bell's palsy. Some of them have it for the rest of their lives. Um, there's also a chance of after you receive, uh, you get Bell's palsy, that it can happen again to either the same part of your face or to the other part of your face. So yeah. Bell's palsy is the actual, uh, Bell's is the doctor that kind of figured it out <laughs> why um, there was the f partial paralysis of the face and he attributed it to the inflammation of the facial nerve. Um, so that's why they call it Bell's palsy. And then palsy means it's paralysis. The palsy is the powder paralysis. So Bell's palsy is what he figured out when your face is half paralyzed. <laughs>